here are some pieces of information I think might help you get ready for your Regents Chemistry exam. Starting with, of course, matter. I also threw energy in here. I separated out three little energy multiple choice from 2015 on a separate video. Check it out as well. But here's the thing. I'm breaking up information you need to know in essentially three categories. One is, of course, knowing the words, which is, of course, your vocabulary or building a vocabulary list. Here's the different terms that showed up with the 2015 questions, and some more than once. There were four questions, for example, regarding essentially the definition of an element. There were two that had to do with knowing the definition of temperature. There were two regarding mixtures and separating of them. So each of these two with allotropes, so they're showing up on more than one Regents exam in 2015. Another thing that isn't on here, but I want to add, when it comes to chemical reactions, you need to know types. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement. When it comes to physical reactions, you need to know the words used to describe the different changes of phase. So, for example, solid to liquid, right, would be melting. Sometimes um, a phase change might have more than one word as well. So, a liquid to solid, we might say freezing, but then also there's a question where it used the word solidification. So go through them, make sure you know them, add them if you need to. Endothermic and exothermic having to do with energy being absorbed in the case of endo, and released in the case of exo, and that ties directly into any chemical reaction or change in any physical reaction or change. So know them. Find them. You can find them from the questions. Go back to the questions that you just did, and then, of course, add to this vocabulary list anytime you can. I'm at a tough, tough time with that word today. And then as far as facts, you need to know the elements from the periodic table that are your liquids, there's only two of them, and then that are your gases, which obviously are the noble gases in group 18, and then there's just a handful of other ones. You also need to know what elements are diatomic elements, right? Where it's written with a little two. Make sure you know them, find them. And of course, converting between Celsius and Kelvin, there's a formula for that So check it out on reference table T. Make sure when you're going through questions, you have a calculator, you have your reference tables in front of you, go over questions more than once, ones that where you, you didn't know even how to start. Go back and do again, even ones you, you did well, go back over them, redo them. I'm here to help you and coach you through some of this material, but you have to do it for yourself. You have to go find these definitions, make sure you know them, read them over, say them over to yourself, rewrite them, look at them at different times, just work hard, and good luck.